Hi, YouTubers. Well, today is January 30th, 2009, and it was on this day in 1955 that I lost my virginity. Yes, this is my anniversary. My fucking anniversary. Well, some people would call it my wedding night. Some people would call it uh, my sexual intercourse beginning experiences. Uh, some people will call it uh, all kinds of idiotic names, but it's really my fucking anniversary. Now, I have been fucking since that day because I got married a virgin, right? I mean, I don't really know too many people that got married a virgin. And he was a, ver a virgin, too. Hi, Hank. How are you? Hey. We had a good time, didn't we? Trying to figure out what the hell we were doing. I mean, there's nothing for what says uh, experience. But there we were. Two children. Late teens. Uh, ready to get it on. But let's get married first. So we did. And um, I've been fucking ever since. What is it? Uh, 54 years? 1955 to 2009. Right? 54 years. My happy anniversary. Well, I'm, I'm glad to say that uh, I did a lot of fucking and I had a good time most of the time fucking and I thoroughly enjoyed uh, fucking and I'm so glad that I have an anniversary uh, to um, uh, celebrate so there you are and uh, the first one uh, was Hank and I think I got pregnant on that first night that first time uh, because um, uh, eight plus a week or so months later I had a baby girl she almost didn't make it uh, they had her in a um, iron lung and all that sort of thing and man was she yellow you think she was Japanese she was so jaundiced and uh, just a little thing and here we are 54 years later still enjoying the word fucking I never could you know say that word it took a long time and then <clears throat> I was made such a fit about it somebody turned to me one day and said it's just a word and I get over it you know it's just a word and so um, I started using it here and there and some people just thought I was should never use that word and I said well that there are places where it really belongs and it really belongs in a fucking anniversary place right so am I going to get by with putting this on YouTube with all these uh, fucking words in here I mean it's meant for fucking isn't it I mean how is it now what, what what's going to happen here if I try to will somebody uh, chase me off of YouTube with this well we're going to find out aren't we so um, let's see how many minutes have I got I've only got three minutes and 40 seconds on here so let's let's have a hit and celebrate my anniversary right my fucking partner went to town uh, to get supplies uh, for our fucking anniversary. And, of course, this isn't the first one I started with fucking. His name was Hank, and then there was many after that, including husbands. Uh, but this is my third husband for over 25 years now, and his name is Sam. So Nan and Sam, Sam and Nan, um, will get on with their fucking when he comes back with the supplies. What kind of supplies is he going to get? Well, when you're 73 and you've got a young squirt for a husband, he's only 65, uh, you have to think about what works, you know. Well, ice cream always works. Ice cream is great. That always gets you smiling. And what you need to do when you're 73 is smile a lot. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's see, what did he go to town for? I forgot. Oh, he went to 
replenish my library supply for me. Uh, you know, the greatest thing is when you're losing your eyesight, as I have just about all of my focus gone, I have a little bit left in my right eye, but not very much. So most everything I look at is fuzz. And trying to concentrate on the computer as to what I'm seeing it is really hard because even if you magnify the holes, you still got a hole there, right, where your focus is no longer happening. There's a hole there, so to speak. So I love to shut my eyes and listen to the CD. Oh, we're so lucky. Mom didn't have CDs when it was her time to listen, uh, but I'm so lucky. And CDs, oh, you can get any kind of CD audios. You know, people talking to you, right, or reading a book. Uh, I, and I love books, and I love people to read to me. So this is great. Uh, my darling and I used to read, when we first got together, we lived on a boat, so we read sea stories to each other. Uh, now, we can let somebody else do it. So George Goodell is one of the greatest readers. We love George Goodell. Easy to go to sleep on if you need to have a little rumble in your ear to go to sleep. George is great. Uh, Janet Ivanovich has a couple of readers for her, and her stories are so great. They're a lots of fun. And so I have a good time uh, listening to CDs. What am I listening to now? Second time around on Ken Follett, uh, something, what is it, the Hornet, uh, something I'm reading right now. And uh, it, it's almost hard to turn them off so you can go do something else. Wait, wait till you get to the end of this disc, and each disc is an hour. So you get that hour to eat your breakfast and an hour to get ready and an hour to get up the dishes and turn it up high so you can hear it like like radio. But there's no commercials. And our radio, uh, you're either uh, listening to commercials or you're listening to the same music over and over and over. There's so much choice out there. And they get stuck in these what they call program, program managers that manage so badly. So uh, here we are. Uh, oh, up in the seven minute category, still talking about my anniversary. Huh? Why am my fucking anniversary? So great, so another hit. Did you see my new haircut? I just don't like it. I like my hair long, but it looks so terrible. When I turned my head and a big knot on the back of my head where I tied it up and big nose sticking out here in front, I said, oh dear, I better do something with my hair. So I went and got it cut. Mm, that was terrible. So now I went and got it cut again. And so this is terrible. So now I really feel scalped. So now if I could just let it grow out, I'm going to brush it like crazy every day. Feed me lots of vitamins so it'll grow real fast and I can be beautiful again. So... Thanks for helping me celebrate. My fucking anniversary. And let's hope that they don't throw this off the YouTube. Let's see if we can stay on the YouTube with my fucking anniversary celebration. Hey, thank you, YouTubes, for making this popular. I just love this way of communicating. It's so nice. Stay healthy, happy, and high.